African art is generally known by its traditional masks and colorful pattern textiles. But two Turkish curators are on a mission to help change that by promoting contemporary African art with an exhibition that opened on Thursday. You've never seen Africa like this. It's an exhibition that explores the contemporary side of African art. It's called Modern Africa, a Rainbow Nation. It's being shown in Istanbul by the art group No Lab. The concept started when two friends and two African art lovers, the curators Ala Onur and Zeynep Erjan, decided to challenge the often misheld belief that African art consists solely of traditional art forms. When people think about Africa, they always think about masks, like the costumes, uh, the traditional stuff going on. Like, but what we're trying to break down is like there's a very modern part of it and like a fun, like fun, very funky and a very modern uh, part of this culture and also the art. The exhibition consists of work from well-known artists like the Moroccan Hassan Hajaj. Everything in this room is designed by him. And then there's South African Ralph Zeman, who decorated AK-47s with colorful beads to attract attention to the weapons trade in Africa. Also exhibited are works from artists who are still new to the game. What we do here as NOLAB Lab is that we bring in, like in under like certain concepts, we bring in uh, foreign artists, and then we while we're like exhibiting them, we also exhibit like upcoming artists. So that's kind of that kind of gives them the chance to like collectors to see them, also like uh, for them to kind of shine. Drumming and dancing will also be performed throughout the run of the exhibit. It can be visited in the next two months at the Global Karakoy Art Gallery. A very colourful exhibition is gracing Istanbul's Karakoy district, Modern Africa Rainbow Nation. To talk about it, we have in the studio Ayla Onur and Zeynep Arjan of No Lab Gallery, who also curated the exhibition. So tell us about No Lab Gallery. It's quite a unique gallery that you guys have formed. Yeah, I mean, I think as a gallery right now, what we're trying to do, like, I don't like calling it a gallery anyways. We call it a conceptual mm -hmm. gallery, mm -hmm. meaning that we do, like, shows under different concepts. Um, and the team is, like, very, like, we pick the team, and then according to the team, we pick the artists. And our aim is kind of is to break the white wall gallery concept, I would say, where you just walk into a gallery and then see the art pieces and necessarily, like, you wouldn't have to come back again if you're not going to buy a piece. And we right. want to create a space where you, can, you want to come back again, have like artistic people inside and create kind of like artistic hub, I would say, where people can come and spend time inside the artwork and also hear about it and learn about it more. And apart from that, we also wanted to like really support upcoming artists. So what we do is like under the certain concept that we choose, we bring in a very famous artists and showcase their work. But at the same time, we showcase upcoming artists' works and this kind of gives them to the chance to shine without being commissioned with a gallery. So we have kind of two aims and I think that makes it, makes it different because like by doing this, we also create an environment which is super fun and exciting with different activities and events. And uh, what we're doing is we're doing, uh, we're gonna do two uh, month pop-up shows and um, in different places and different concepts. And our first one is in, uh, called Modern Africa Rainbow Nation and it's in Global Holding uh, Karakoy's uh, building. Uh, we're gonna be there for two months. There's gonna be workshops, events going on and uh, talks and screen. we have a screening room where there's like documentaries shown. Um, and after that, we're planning on cr uh, creating a design hub, which is a surprise right now, but uh, it will pop up mm -hmm. later. Well, African art is definitely on the rise worldwide. How did the idea to curate this exhibition come about? I mean, it's a funny story because we actually started working on this project a year ago. 
-hmm. when African art wasn't as it wasn't popular. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we were kind of like, oh, like, you know, we're late, but I think it's a good it, yeah. time, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think it's still a good time to do it. Like Definitely. the reason why we love it is because first of all, we love African culture anyways, both of us. And I love also uh, African architecture because I studied interior design in, in New York. Um, so like I always uh, saw it and when I went there, like it always intrigued me. Um, and Ala really loves African arts and uh, the artists and like the culture also. So we just started doing it and then it started rising so much in New York, in uh, London, like with the 154 uh, art show and everything. And like in uh, also in uh, Switzerland with the Basel and um, so. And also like if you look at the art pieces that they create, genuinely it's very colorful and very fun and like enthusiastic and like nowadays in the 21st century art scene, like the art is a bit too political or it can be a bit like they put so much meaning to it and I like it's understandable because there's so many issues going around right now and people right. want to raise like voice about it but at the end of the day I think it create it makes the art piece as an end product a bit more cold and like the African artists usually do this in a very colorful way still so when you look at the art piece it's still very colorful and it's something that you want to see in your house let's say like you know it's not cold that's why we also love it like it's fun Funky, mm -hmm. <laughs> Fun, you funky, colorful, and they use like color. very different materials in their artwork, like textiles, uh, materials that they found from everyday life, like uh, things. So like, it's fun and it's nice to look at. Mm -hmm. Also, you mentioned bits and bobs here and there, but what can we expect at the exhibition, and uh, where can we find it, and what can we expect? Um, <laughs> I mean, like, as we said, it's in Karaka right now and mm -hmm. it's going to be there for two months. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you can expect to come there every day if you want to because we have a coffee area, like we have like a chilling area as well. So you can spend time there and we're hoping with our workshops and like with our events, like more like artistic people and, uh, who are going to come there and like who want to spend time there with like different people or different view, pe views and like, you know, we have a screening room where you can watch documentaries or you can, we all, we even say you can bring your own movie and watch it there, like, you know, so instead of just being a gallery, we want to create an artistic hub where people come and spend time mm -hmm. and share their like ideas and like create together. And what we also did, we created like rooms, different rooms for different artists. Like there's like a, a ceramic artist called Manal Kara and she's getting like really popular right now and mm -hmm. her work is amazing. Like we created her room using all her, uh, T textures as wallpapers and like mm -hmm. we exhibited her stuff in front of that and we did Hassan Hajaj's room uh, which is a very famous artist also and uh, it's fun to go around and like get into their world also um, so I mean, it became like a labyrinth of it. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're like, did you see that room? Did you see that yeah. room? And like, <laughs> <laughs> sounds fun, sounds yeah. fun. Uh, you guys definitely have this fresh perspective. What would you say is something the art world needs in Istanbul or any other city? Any ideas? I mean, definitely a bit like in Istanbul, I feel like the art scene is a bit too monotone where like everybody knows the same artists and they go for the same artists. Like mm -hmm. the upcoming artists are not as valued right now. So I think with us like showing these upcoming artists to the new people and like to people and like they're going to want to know more about them. Like because we're like with what with with what we're doing like it's not about the famous or who what like who who is but it's more about like the art pieces if it's nice it's nice and yeah. they want to get to know them and like we give information about them so mm -hmm. i think it's kind of breaking the walls that they built around them in art scene so mm -hmm. we'll see like when i used to do interior design like uh, my customers would say okay i go to a place to a home i see the same painting as the other home and like the furniture also so even though like in their traditional way they want to put something funky there like a, a one object even like uh, that stands out so that's like what we're giving them mm -hmm. basically guys pleasure to have you on showcase thank you thank, thank you, you.